look it's it's a very interesting piece and I haven't seen it for some time so I'm quite engaged with it at the moment oh, you yeah. know if you have if you've done a piece that's uh, quite old it's very nice to bring it out again and if you still like it very much that's quite good yes <laughs> it's uh... A major piece done in 1985 in Berlin. It's called the Berlin Trilogy and there are three panels. This is the center panel and it's based on the idea of the three monkeys, uh, speak no evil, hear no evil and uh, see no evil. But I changed the title so that the first panel was called Say Nothing and this piece is called Hear Everything which is about all the information, too much information now, and we are almost forced to, to hear things perhaps we don't particularly wish to hear. So the figure itself is holding its head and covering its ears, and the dilemma um, inside the head uh, is hiding and rejecting some of the information that, that's coming out. Um, it's quite uh, restrained but at the same time has quite a lot of violence in it which is the reason for using the red plus the brushwork has a, a slashing quality and as you can see the mouth is painted blue and of course that's almost the antithesis of normally the colour of, of um, the mouth. So it's, it's a piece I haven't seen for a while myself so I, I'm really quite enjoying looking at it uh, in the studio space because the light is so very good in here. Anyway, this piece went on show a number of quite important galleries and, and museums. And, uh, well, um, it's uh, very important to me, um, especially because the work was made in Berlin itself. That was before the flight restrictions, of course, when you could move much more easily by, by plane from one city to another, carrying great large rolls of canvases. Now I'd like to really speak about um, a piece called The Divided Self, which is about Ireland and the Civil War, and that was made in 1984. I had a big exhibition in Ireland, and I was very much inspired. I'm interested in conflict, of course, difficult situations, why there is war, um, that we seem to need war. Uh, Susan Sontag said, war is the constant and peace uh, much more unusual. Um, and well, I want to question this and because I was brought up during the Second World War, that was my childhood and it was dark without colour. And well, I suppose my father was in the army and my mother was running a business, so I didn't see much of my parents. So these things impact and you start thinking about them as you grow older. Well, this was another triptych uh, made in 1984 and it's called um, The Divided Self, but each panel, there are a few panels, um, had its own individual uh, title. Um, it was dedicated to Ireland or to places of conflict and I saw Ireland as the female, the reclining uh, woman because this is a very familiar subject in, in art of course and but one can see how very uncomfortable the position is. Uh, it, the anatomy is somewhat distorted and also one of the features of my work are the double or treble heads or dubogana as well. And so you have a, a very thoughtful, nostalgic head here and uh, 
the interesting thing about painting this was the way one could bring the face through the hand or the hand merging into the head and then behind the hand is uh, the sort of inner face uh, which is in a state of uh, exclamation or wanting to say something um, which is counter to almost the passive look on this particular face. Uh, so, yeah, this was an awkward situation and Ireland at the time it was painted uh, was in a very difficult situation. It's been in trouble for quite a long time with nothing being resolved. Uh, plus the, these feet on the edge of what? Uh, the edge of it, its particular island or the edge of, of difficult decisions. So that was the motivation beside this piece. Now the central panel isn't here, it's a head which is tearing itself apart and that can actually be seen on my website um, or it can be seen on the book of my, my work. Um, I think when there is huge conflict inside, there, there is times when the head or the body um, or civil war is tearing itself apart. And we, we have this conflict uh, in the world today with the various uh, countries and difficult situations. Um, and I think I think art should address these very difficult issues. How else are we to try to understand them? So if you give them vision or you make an image, that can have a very, very powerful impact because an image, particularly in painting, is a fixed thing. And, and that can, I think, I hope perhaps, uh, bring it into the world rather than the words and talk of, of politicians. This piece was called Goodbye, um, the third panel, and I suppose it was a dream piece. Um, it was a piece where one wanted to say goodbye to conflict. Um, as you can see, the body is much more fragmented as if in the course of negotiation or struggle, uh, one has lost arms, parts of legs, but that doesn't matter, you know, that is the wear and tear of life. What of that is, is life and war, um, parts are, are lost. Um, so it also has the dribble, the dream head, hoping that in the end it will be resolved. And of course things have been partially resolved uh, in Ireland and one just hopes that that situation will continue to have a very peaceful outcome. Mm -hmm.